The following question reads that uh, ethanol is used to make product R in a three-stage synthesis. So you have ethanol over here and you're making product R. You're, you're doing a couple of reactions. And it's given you uh, details that two molecules of Q react to give one molecule of R plus two molecules of water. So two molecules of Q, uh, they react to give one molecule of R. Uh, plus two molecules of water and R has two ester functional groups in each molecule. R does not react with sodium and you're being asked what is the empirical formula of R. So we need to figure out what R is. The first thing I'm going to look at is I'm going to look at this first reaction. This is nucleophilic addition. It's an aldehyde reacting with HCN or NACN and what's going to happen is so here is the aldehyde ethanol. I have drawn that. Uh, acetyl bond O is a polar bond. So carbon is partial positive, oxygen is partial negative. So this CN minus 1, which is the nucleophile, is going to be attracted to this positive charge over here. Uh, so this CN minus 1 with its electrons is going to come and it's going to try and bond with this positive carbon atom. And the electrons in this bond, because of the negative charge over here, they're going to get repelled and these electrons would be pushed away. So in this next image, you can see the CN has attached itself and the electrons in the double bond have gotten repelled and it's a negative charge. Uh, and in the next step, uh, an H plus 1. So here's my H plus 1. It's going to be attracted to this O negative and it's going to bond with it. So this over here is the final molecule uh, that is going to be produced. Uh, this is a cyanohydrin. So this is the first reaction. And I've told you about the mechanism as well. So that's the first reaction. And after that, uh, the product P, this is P that I've just drawn, it's uh, being heated with sulfuric acid. So let's look at what would happen when this molecule over here is heated with sulfuric acid. Now, with sulfuric acid, what's going to happen with P is the nitrile group is going to hydrolyze and it will change into a carboxylic acid group. So this CN over here would change into COOH. Now you can see in this picture, this is molecule Q. The CN has hydrolyzed, it has changed into a carboxylic acid. Uh, and this is Q, so let's call that Q. The last part of the question is that he has already told you that an ester is being formed and two ester groups are being formed, so that is product R. So Q is getting converted into an ester product R, which has two functional groups, uh, ester functional groups. And it also says that R does not react with sodium. Uh, so let's see what is going to happen next. So this over here is molecule Q. Uh, this is forming ester with itself. Two molecules of Q are reacting to produce R. Uh, so the only way that is possible is because it has an alcohol group and it also simultaneously has a carboxylic acid group. Which probably means that you have two molecules of Q and they uh, react with each other to form an ester. Now here I've drawn uh, two molecules of Q that are facing each other. Uh, the carboxylic acid of one group, uh, one uh, molecule is going to react with the alcohol of the other molecule and they're going to form an ester link and a condensation reaction would happen and this OH and H would be removed. The same pretty much would happen with the uh, other group, uh, the carboxylic acid of one molecule of Q would react with the OH group of the other molecule of Q and they're going to form an ester link. So a condensation reaction would happen and these water molecules would be removed. So two water molecules are getting produced. So now I've removed those two water molecules, uh, they're gone and an ester link has been formed. Cetyl bond O is now bonded directly with O. Cetyl bond O of one molecule is now directly bonded with O. So this is uh, the product R that is going to be produced. So this is my R. Two molecules of Q have reacted with each other. Now the final uh, question was that we had to figure out the empirical formula of R. So I've uh, totaled the number of carbon atoms, hydrogen atoms and oxygen atoms. I'm getting C6H804, which would give me an empirical formula of, if I simplify this, divide everything by 2, C3H4 and O2. So the correct option for this question is going to be uh, option B.